Hello YouTube, I have a uh, review here. Um, I know I have a couple other ones, but this is going to be an in-depth review of the IBM, that one by Lenovo, ThinkPad T42. It's not the T42P, the T42P is the workstation model. Uh, essentially it just has better specifications. Um, but as you can see, I have two of the units right here. They're the exact same thing. Model number is 2373JTU. And this one is slightly older. It's about two years older. As you can see, it looks quite a bit dirtier with this oil spot that just does not come off with anything. Um, this is actually going back to my father's place of work soon. We'll go around the unit here. On the left side, we have a Kensington lock, two USB 2.0. S video out, dial up modem, Ethernet 100 megabits, headphone out, microphone in, both 3.5 millimeter, fan vent for the uh, heat sink to cool the processor and the unit down, two PCM CIA, if that's what they're still called. On the front, there's infrared, stereo speakers, which uh, are not very good, honestly, a vent for the hard drive, which is located right in there. It's a 40 gig. IBM Travel Star, I think, uh, 5400 RPM, 8 meg buffer that comes out here, CDRW DVD ROM drive, um, it's actually really small, very easy to take out. You can replace this with a hard drive or an extended battery, and there goes the laptop. The other drive or multi bay drive is the same in, in this one here. As you can see, it's very thin and uh, not the fastest thing in the world but it, it definitely gets the job done. Very easy to put back in as well, you just give it a push, kind of clicks in, snap it, snap that little thing that came up back in. Last thing over here is your VGA video out. On the back you have your battery which is a 6 so it works just fine, good life, about 3-4 hours. Power supply, port, and a LPT for printing. That's how you know that it's kind of old. So, I think we're pretty much done with this one. That's not the best one here. This one actually is 2 gig of RAM. Uh, it's DDR, 333 MHz RAM. It just got 2 gig of that. Intel Pentium M 1.73 or 1.75, I can't remember. Uh, gigahertz processor. It's more than capable. And uh, Intel Radeon Graphics 32 meg, 1024 by 768 resolution at 60 Hz. So, we'll come over to this one. Same out, same on the outside, and we'll use this one to open up because it's just a little cleaner. So, it definitely has the Lenovo build quality, or back in these days, IBM build quality. It's got the Intel Pentium sticker here, IBM ThinkPad. Has the signature uh, track point, I guess that's what you call it. It's got the touchpad, two buttons here, two buttons here, and then this is your scroll button. You hold that down, move that up and down to scroll. Access IBM, which gives you uh, your Think Vantage software, volume down, volume up, volume mute, and your power button. I always like to show you guys the power pack in a review. Sometimes they give you a really nice small laptop, somewhat like this. I mean, this is light. This is not a heavy machine. And then they give you a big old honking power brick. Well, this actually isn't too big. As you can see, uh, this is the legitimate one that came with this notebook from IBM several years ago, back in 2006. It comes with this Velcro that goes around it, and if you undo that, you can see that the brick is actually not that large. I'll set it on top of the keyboard here. It's smaller than HP's Pavilion. It is a bit larger than Lenovo's recent Z series or T series power brick, um, but it's definitely okay. The power cord is not grounded or polarized which makes it easy to plug in either way in pretty much any United States electrical uh, port. This is the end that fits really only into the T-series. It will not fit on my Z-series. I have a Z61 T. Also here on the front it says T42. We have the little moon for when it's sleeping. The battery light, the Z, which means that it is powered up. Hard drive, disk, light, cap locks, light, scroll lock, and unlock, and then your wireless thing. One thing to note, there's no physical switch to turn on and off the wireless on this computer. So that might be a downfall if you want to turn it off 
to save some battery power. We'll turn it up, take a look at the BIOS. Notice it does have a Think Light up there. Here's the BIOS. We hit F1 or the Access IBM button to get into that. It is a Phoenix BIOS, and this is the latest BIOS version, 3.23. It was updated 6, so June 18th, 18th, 2007, and this is the latest revision from Lenovo.com. Uh, okay, so it's 1.70 gigahertz, 102.4 meg of RAM, which is about a gig. Um, that's, it's it, really nice BIOS. You can control a lot of stuff here. You can clock processor, clock processor. Uh, I, as you can see, I, I just keep it on maximum performance. Um, ready, safe. It's got all of this really nice stuff here that you can change. F F10 exit. Yes, and I am actually dual booting on this 40 gig drive. Windows 7 Ultimate Release Candidate 1, 32 bit, and Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3, 32 bit. Probably seen XP a number of times, so here we are with Windows 7. This is the PC that actually had 2 gig of RAM. I had to swap it into this one. That's the one my dad needs to take to work for a project. So when I get this back in a couple of months, I'm going to take the 2 gig out of this and put it in here. This is going to run a lot better with 2 gig of RAM with Windows 7 than it is with 1 gig. Um, boot time definitely is not bad. It is definitely utilizing the disk, as you can see, that light there. Reading the video card, definitely fast enough. You know, I. I'm not, I don't really consider myself a power user, but I do want snappy performance, excuse me, and I could definitely get along with this. Runs Microsoft Office 2007 Enterprise just fine. Um, obviously, Arrow does not work with a 32 meg graphics card and a low-end Intel chipset, um, but it is more than capable of running Windows once it logs in. It's really thin, it's light. It's quick, it's got active protection system, so I probably just spun the drive out. Uh, when you move it, it stops reading and writing from the disk momentarily. Um, so if you drop it or move it around or give it a sudden vibration, um, you will not damage the head on the disk. So here we are, usable copy of Windows. Let's open up the gadgets and add in the uh, performance gadget. So memory here. 54 or 44%. That's not bad at all. I mean, that's less than 500 meg. That's probably like 450, say 450 meg of RAM in use, which Vista could never do. 45% there. Processors on 13%, 27%, 37%. So it's really more than capable. All features work. We'll go in and look at some specs here. Tell Pentium M 1.7, yeah, we know that. 1 gig of RAM, 32 bit. Um, definitely, definitely capable. It's rated a 1.0 because of graphics, which sucks. Um, processor is rated a 3.2, memory 4.1, graphics 1.9, gaming graphics 1.0, and the disk drive actually got a surprisingly high 4.3. Um, I could use this as my PC. It'll run everything I need it to run. We will open Firefox as soon as you hear me click the enter key there. Or not Firefox, I'm sorry, Google Chrome, which is right here. It should be firing up Yahoo.com. I'm in my basement, so I might not have the best signal strength, but there it is. I'll hit all that four. It'll go away right then. And one other thing to note, there's no Windows key. So I downloaded Lenovo's um, keyboard customizer and I just hit the left control key for the Windows flag now. But that definitely works. If you want to turn on the Think Light up here, hit Functions and Page Up, and then you get a light that will shine down on the keyboard, which is really nice. Not as nice as uh, Apple's way to do it, but it, it works. We will now open Microsoft Word, see how that goes. There it is, fully functional. Definitely works. I am very happy with this. I really like the computer. It gets a very good review. Um, definitely recommend it, and they're pretty cheap online. So thanks for watching. This has been the IBM slash Lenovo ThinkPad T42. Thanks for watching.